Okay, so we have everything set up here. I'm gonna move this back a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna start off with purple. Remember I said the blue pigment is a little heavy, so you'll wanna really swish it around, make sure it doesn't settle, it's evenly dispersed in the puddle. Fill up your brush completely, and then start off with a row of purple. The indigo is very dark, so it will definitely feel like nighttime. And overlap the row, and I'm gonna start moving a little bit into the red section. Overlapping, if you can still see the line, go back one more time. Then I'm gonna go into the red a little bit more. And then I'm gonna start moving into the red-orange section. My brush is too dry. If you guys are too dry, you'll see that you're very streaky, so you might have to pick up some paint. But the thing is, I don't wanna go over that area that has a stripe because you're gonna end up making it worse. So just go back over it later. And now I'm rinsing my brush and I'm going more into a yellow orange. Because if it's a nighttime sky, you're gonna actually have a kind of darker sky. And right around where the sun is starting to set, it'll turn a little bit yellow. And I can see already, I did not have enough water in my brush. So if you look closely, you can see it's much streakier than my other ones. And that's because I didn't have enough water in my brush. So I'm just gonna make sure I hydrate it and swish it around before I do it again. But this will dry in a couple minutes and then I will add another layer. So when you're ready, go ahead and start with your purple. Drag the puddle down. That means overlap the previous row of paint that you did. And then remember what area you start transitioning into the next color. And the second layer should be darker. It's a nighttime sky or it's, it's the dusk sky, so the sky is getting darker. Your palette should almost look like your sunset. You're moving over into each color. My second row is way better. Much darker. And then I have a little bit of the yellow at the end. And then I'm going to take just a little bit of water and add it at the end. And use a dry brush and vacuum it up. That way it'll dry nice and evenly and it'll help all the water to come down and all the pigment to just naturally settle in. Okay, so here's my palette. It kind of looks like the sunset. 